D to select. Okay. Spring. Hope everyone's doing well. Staying warm. The Under River. What manner of vermin lurks beneath our feet? Come on, Verm, keep up. I'm doing my best, Lance, but your legs are twice the size of mine. Ah, uh, this won't do at all. Here's an idea. Why don't you take the lead for a bit? You think I'm ready? I have no doubt. According to Dad's letter, we just follow the arrows. They point the way to the god's food hoard. Just keep up, just keep following the path. We should hit it in no time. All right, I can do this. Stay on my tail, bro. Mouse Warrior Pro Tip, hold X to run and C to open uh, menu. Easy peasy. What a weird bridge. Looks like an under river rat handiwork. It's crude, but it should hold. Under river rats? Do you think there are any around uh, right now? It's possible. We didn't bring in our weapons just for show. Are you scared? Nah. Uh-uh. I got, I'm not scared of anything. Just like Blade Master Leo. <laughs> well, then Blade Master lead the way. Can I look at that? Nope. All right. Okay, wasn't it? Yep, it's over here. You found a peanut. Hey, Lance, check it out. Someone dropped a peanut. Nice, fine. Maybe you should hold on to it in case you feel weak later. But don't get too full. There'll be plenty more food where we're heading. I can almost smell it. Mouse Warrior Pro Tip. Items can be equipped from the equip menu. Once a food item has been equipped, it can be used in every battle. Not another step, you two. Or else you'll have to face the combined wrath of Bree and... Hey, Art Boy. We got company. Get with the program. Stealth in. Oh no, he lost his chalk. Not another step, you two, or else you'll have to... You've done that part already. Rest assured, sirs, we'll make no trouble. My brother and I are just passing through. Ain't that easy. This is a troll road, you see? Don't you mean toll road? A little bit of both, to be perfectly honest with you. In ten seconds each to pa or ten seeds each to pass, pay up. No way. We're not paying you flea bitten losers diddly squat. No now, Verm, let's show some decorum. Sirs, I'm afraid my brother and I have no seeds on our persons. Perhaps you'll be so kind as to let us through anyway? No seeds, huh? Do you smell that, Stilton? I think I do, Bree. It's the smell of a liar. Let's get these two scrounge and scrounge their seeds from their corpse. Just remember your training, Verm. Attack them until they fall down? Exactly.
You little runts. Chief Sava will have your heads for this. Yeah, Sava the Slayer will chop you up into mouse meat. Save the Sava the Slayer? Maybe the tale is true. What tale? Word in the tunnels is that a water vole fell into the under river four seasons ago. He grew fat on the water waste. So fat that the under river rat started worshipping as a chieftain. Some say that he's as big as a horse and he swings around god weapons like they're nothing. That can't be true. No rodent can grow that big, right? Who can say? I always thought he was a myth, just like ghosts and musk wolves. Right, just ghosts and musk wolves. Let's go find out. Firm, it's a shrine to your hero. Whoa, Blade Master Leo. What a statue. What's a statue doing down here? Perhaps the Under River Scoundrels built it? Even they know to respect the powers of the crown. No way. They must have looted it. Heh, <laughs> I guess that's more likely. In any case, we should say a quick prayer for protection. Mouse Warrior Pro Tip to save your game, say a prayer at a statue. Smart war Warriors pray regularly. It's a copper statue of a field mouse wielding a needle-like repair. The plaque reads in honor of Blade Master Leo, slayer of Iron Fang the Vulps, savior of Soho Village, and hero to all. Blade Master Leo stands proud. Save your game. Save. Your game has been saved. Oh wait, I messed up, I messed up, I think. Oh, Chief, they're here. That's a big boy. Two mice? Rats, I could understand, but you're telling me you guys your arses kicked by two little mice? Don't underestimate them, Chief. The bigger one's a scary good shot with the bow, and that little one's got some fancy sword work going on. Pathetic, the both of you. I'll deal with these runs myself. Chief Sava, I presume it's a pleasure to meet you in person. What a letdown. You said he was as big as a horse, Lance. Firm, mind your manners. Ha! Quite a smart tongue that you got there, little one. I bet it won't be so smart when I cut it from your mouth. So, it's true you do possess a god weapon. Eh, say hello to the Titan Reaper. This butte can cut through all creatures, great and small. Mice and rats, fish and phil philidas. I even brought down a nightwing one time. Lance, what do we do? Keep your nerve, Verm. The vol talks big and carries an impressive weapon. But I wonder, can he even some wield something so unwieldy? Can I? Heck, I'm going to carve you up like butter. Come at me, you flea-bitten yellow belly losers. Don't take the bait, Berm. Uh 
fools, you dropped your guard. Go on, hit me, see what happens. Fools, you dropped your guard. Ah, uh, now my brother's out. I've seen butterflies with more bite than you two amateurs. And he's out. Ugh. They saw us down? Let's get out of here. Get back here, you damn disloyal gutter rats. You've lost a lot of blood, Chief. Make your peace with the world. Oh, I've long made my peace. Very well. Then this is where we part ways. Come along, Verm. Hey, you're going up to heaven, aren't you? Heaven? The god's food hoard just above here. We are. Then from one foul vermin to another, don't bother. That place used to be a paradise, but now the yellow god roams the hall. All that awaits you is death. Goodbye. Farewell, Chief. May your soul pass to the next world unhindered. Lance, what's a yellow god? That's a new one to me, but don't let it bug you, Verm. In all my travels, I've never seen or heard of any deadly yellow god. It's the crazed mutterings of a dying rodent. Just ghosts and muswolves. Right. Just ghosts and muswolves. Let's keep moving. We're almost at the horde. Mouse, where you approach it feeling stronger, you might have just leveled up. When a rodent levels up, they gain one plus star, a skill star. You sent to the skills menu. Go take a look. That's the... found a treasure map. You add it to your trinket. Verm, what are you doing? Look at this thing. It's, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's way too big. Indeed, it's clearly designed by gods for gods, not us rodents. But do you think a mouse could ever use a weapon like this? Eh, maybe the strongest mouse in the world, or the craziest. Come on, we have a mission. This is it. Brace yourself, Verm. Oh, we are in a grocery store. <laughs> Heaven. Tread softly. Beautiful, isn't it? Fruit, grain, meat, items I can't even describe. 
all neatly wrapped and ours for the taking. But we mustn't dwaddle. Dad's letter says that the horde is overrun with hungry gods at dawn. Oh boy, oh boy. What do we start with? Corn. Let's find some corn. And bananas. And bread. And is that chocolate I smell? Calm down, Verm. It's seeds we want. Seeds? How boring. Boring, yes, but they're valuable and imperishable. Lead the way. I think they're stored at the end of this corridor. Verm, wait. What? I've seen those before. They're sinister contraptions. One wrong step and bam, the bar comes down and snaps your neck in two. Dad called them thunder snares. Are you serious? They look so harmless. Don't even touch them. Let's tread lightly. Lance, we made the thunder snare. Who made the thunder snare things? Gods? Indeed, they were probably left out as a warning. A warning for us? We are trespassing on holy ground, after all. Are you scared? Nah. Uh uh, I'm not scared of some stupid god. You don't have to put on a brave front. I'm scared too. But we have each other's backs. That's what family's for, right? Yep, we stick together. I think I can almost smell the seeds. Then lead the way. This is what we want. There are enough seeds in one packet to feed the village for a month. Help me drag it down. It's huge. How are we going to get back to the, past the thunder snares? We'll solve that problem when we get there. For now, just help me drag it down uh, towards the river. You, I'll pull. You go around the other side and push. Got it. Are you ready? Let's do this. That's the spirit. All right, when I give the signal, give the packet a big shove to the left. Do you smell something? You and your nose, try to focus, Firm. On my mark. It smells sweet. Not good sweet, though. I'm getting a whiff, too. It's sickly. What do we do? We stick to the mission. On my mark. Lance, I feel dizzy. Oh, dear. Can you keep going? I think so, but the smell is really strong. I think it's coming from... Is, is that behind the bag now? Did it see us? We need to get out of here now. What about the seeds? Forget the seeds. Run! <gasps> His tail! Ah! Burn! Oh no! Lands! It hurts! Hold on. Don't move. All right, stay calm. It's just your tail, thank the fates. We can get you out of this, right? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to lift the bar and you're going to squeeze out. Squeeze out? You know you can do it. When I give the signal, just push as hard as you can. On my mark.
Are you pulling? Yes! Let's try again. All your might now. This isn't working. Are we right when we're running out of time? I'll stall the gall. You find a way to free yourself. Lance, no! Lance! Don't go, I'm scared. Over here, you monster. Damn it all. Hey, you, over here, look at me. I said, look at me, come on. Got its attention. <sighs> I've I've got to escape. Lance. Lance needs my help. Miss Lutil. Run, mouse, run. <laughs> Would you like to save your game? Yes. Your game has been saved. Summer. Firm learned rage. You should not have come here, mouse. I'm passing through to Cranbale. Let me be, or I now make no trouble. Oh, you found trouble, friend. I am the predator, and you are the prey. You run, and I chase. That is the way of nature. Who said anything about running? What's this? A mouse wielding a god weapon? Now I've seen it all. 
Very well. Show me your strength. Amuse me. You're no predator, you're nothing but an overfed fuzzball. Bold words for a morning snack. Impressive, but it takes more than that to hurt a tiger. Is that a mouse? A mouse knight fighting tiger? The sword is heavy as anything. How did a mice knight even swing it? Ow! Oh, Grant, you're not dead. Study on your feet now. Are you hurt? Don't touch that. I'm fine. Whoa, he's the real deal. Pardon? I saw you go and paw to claw against Tiger, blow for blow. It was the coolest thing I've ever seen. It was amazing. Well, until he sent you flying, that is. I had to drag you here before he gobbled you up. It was a close call. You dragged me here? Where is here, exactly? Oh, right, hold on. Cranbale. Their burrows are deep, their convictions deeper. This is Cranbell, the Sanctuary of Knowledge? It is. Welcome, welcome. I'm Sobin, daughter of Lady Gilda. She's the head of the village. And you should come meet her. Mama doesn't normally like visitors, but you're something special. Fine, fine. I have a question for her anyway. Lead the way. Shouldn't you be studying? Who is this outsider? Oh, yes, introductions. This is Lord Master Morvin on the left, Blade Master Neiman on the Hedge Knight on the right. Oh, Mama, I mean Lady Gilda of Cranbale in the middle. Mama, this is. I didn't get your name. Verm. Right, Sir Verm. Sir? I'm not a knight. Really? Huh. Anyway, Mama, I saw this guy fighting Tiger. He was swinging around a god weapon like nobody's business. That stupid cat had no idea what he was dealing with. I think this guy might actually be able to... Calm yourself, young lady. So sorry, Mama. Mouse, you fought the Felidae with a god weapon? What can I say? Rodent weapons are so brittle. Such arrogance. To fight a god's pet with a god's weapon? This is sacrilege. Sacrilege of the worst kind. In accordance of the laws of the old way, a punishment is in order, my lady. Want me to put him in the stockade? Try it, Pinecone. See what happens. Everyone quiet. This mouse is a visitor. He is not bound by our local customs. We won't punish you, mouse, but we won't help you either. Do whatever it is you came to do, and then take your leave. Fine. I didn't plan on sticking around anyway. But before I go, I need some information. I'm looking for the one known as the Yellow God. The Yellow God? I'm afraid we don't know any gods on the first name bases around here, except for Cormac, I suppose. Have you heard of this Yellow God, Lord Master Morvan? I'm afraid not, my lady. Perhaps his mouth. Mouse should head to Merida. One million mice and rats live there. Nobles, merchants, academics. I'm sure one of them can be of assistance. That was going to be my next destination anyway. Very well. Take your leave, Mouse. Ah, uh, Sir Verm, wait up! Sobin, may I have a word? Mingling with blaspheming 
uh, vagabonds is most unbecoming of a young lady. Stop calling me young lady. You know I hate it. Young lady, you are nobility. Know your place and return to your studies. Studies? Mama, that felony is killing us off one by one and you aren't doing anything to stop it. Not another world. What would your father have said if he saw you mingling with the vagabond? Well, Dad's not here, is he? So, Ben. I th that rock-headed child. She thinks herself a warrior, her father's daughter, all right. Hold your tongue, Blade Master. Yes, my lady. Sorry, my lady. Let me guess, your mom told you off for hanging around with strangers. Wait, are you crying? No. It's nothing to be ashamed about. Mom is so damn stuck up. Ever since Dodd died, she's been obsessed with following the old way to the letter. No god tools, no god interference at all. But what good's that doing us? How does cowering in a burrow help anyone when Tiger's on the prom? I get it. Most runs would rather hide away than face real issues head on. But you seem like a smart kid. I'm sure you'll make it through this. Wait! Before you go, can I show you something? It'll only take a minute. One minute? Yes, just something in the library. All right, lead the way. I actually don't know where she went. It's a tin statue of a mole dressed up in humble robes. The plaque reads, A rodent life is short. A written story is eternal. Lord Master Tolbin, founder of Cranbale Library. Lord uh, Master studies quietly. Save your game. Save. Are you behaving yourself, Sobin? I am, Auntie Inigjin. Of course. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't you be studying? Ah, I should. But I was just going to show this visitor the illuminated manuscript manuscripts in the back. Mm hmm. Stay out of trouble, young lady. Your mother worries about you. I know. Illuminated manuscripts? Just follow me. I'm not interested in some old books. Never mind the books. I've got something better. But you can't tell anyone but about this, alright? Especially not Mammy. Sure, whatever. Hey, I'm serious. Promise me. All right, all right, I promise. A tunnel? I dug it myself, come on. A treasure trove, huh? Yep, god tool. I've been secretly collecting and studying for a whole season now. You see this? It's God's timekeeper. I can't read the runes yet, but I'm getting there. This machine's a fancy god's toy, I think. I watched a young one play with it for hours. It turns on, but the screen's all bejanked, so I reckon it's missing a part. This is all fascinating, truly, but if you brought me down just to show me your trinket collection. Wait, wait, you'll really like this next one. Do you know what this is? I've seen them around. I know they're a common god tool. Even better, a god weapon like yours. I've got it working, even spruced it up to pack a proper punch, but it's in need of a fuel test. I I thought I could use it on Tiger. Uh, give him what for, maybe save the village. But I don't think I can. Not because I'm scared, I mean. I am scared, of course, but I get it. You do? You want to take that felody down, but you know attacking Tiger yourself would be suicide. The other moles in this village just sit on their tails and rant about the old way. So you want me to, you uh, so you want me to lend my sword, right? Pretty much. Could you? Sorry to disappoint. I don't do sell sword work. Sell sword work. I couldn't pay you if I wanted to. The village is flat out broke. I was hoping you would do it, you know, because you're a chivalrous knight. Like I said, I'm not a knight. I didn't come here to do charity work. So go rally the thimble guard or something. I'm out. Not running away. Sir, Firm, are you okay? You 
you're really pitiful, you know that? Yeah, you know. I'll help you. Really? Yeah. Well, go kill that Philidae. You can reap the glory and restore your village honor or whatever. Just make sure to follow my orders. Yes, Sir Vermin, to the letter. I'll go wait by the lift. Thank you so much, Sir Verm. Well, at least if it all goes wrong, she'll make for a good distraction. This looks complicated, but none of the buttons do anything. So this thing is missing a part. Winds are strange, you cannot read godly writing. Return to the service? Let's go. What? What is this thing? It's creepy looking, even by statue standards. It's Cormac, the village's watchful protector. Oh, not doing a very good job, is he? No, I guess he's not. The warrior mouse returns. And with a mole this time. Don't tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm going to unleash fire and fury. Light him up. Mouse should not fear death, but never beginning to live. The warrior mouse returns, and with a mole this time. Don't, uh, tell me the little kitty is scared of being outnumbered. Scared? All I see before me are an entree and a main course. Go ahead, mouse and mole. Use your god weapons. They won't save you. Hold your nerve, mole. Hold my nerve. I'm done holding my nerve. I'm unleashing fire and fury.